So just for anyone who isn't already aware, why don't you tell me a little bit about the story? Well, 52 Tuesdays is a film where um, it's about a teenage girl, Billy, whose mum decides to transition to live as a man. Um, and they, instead of living together for the year, they um, live separately. She lives with her dad and they promise to see each other every Tuesday for the whole year. And the film tells the story of their Tuesdays and it's set ev every Tuesday and we also shot it every Tuesday for the year. What was it that kind of inspired the film? How did it kind of all come about? It came first from the form of, of 52 Tuesdays. Um, the co-writer Matt sat down and said, like, I, I think we should make a film where every Tuesday for a year, two people meet and we film it only on Tuesdays. But there was no story and there was no characters and that all kind of came later and that developed through a, 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 pro a process of, um, like in a lab. And, um, but the form came first and the form was the thing that kind of carried through the whole work. When you kind of found out about it, what was it that kind of attracted you to Billy as a character? I'd grown up doing devised theatre and circus, so I think I was really excited by the process of it. But I'd read the character description and went, <laughs> that's not me, I can't do that. And sort of went to the audition because all of my friends were, and I just didn't think I would be in film. That wasn't something I thought at all. It still surprises me sitting here now. <laughs> but um, I guess it was after t meeting Soph properly and the whole team behind Close Productions and hearing about how they worked, it was, I mean, how could you say no to that? It's <laughs> amazingly challenging and risk-taking and I think that sort of the experiment nature of that film is, you know, something you dream for more often. <laughs> and so Anna, kind of growing up with a transparent is actually quite a very specific Mm. kind of area but being a teenager everybody has so was it important to you although with the very specific story to actually make it a universal with the idea that it is really kind of Billy growing up anyway even it's her struggles as well mm -hmm. so it's important to you so that everyone could kind of enjoy it on that level as well not just this is a girl with a mother who's transitioning. Mm. I mean I think every character has so much specificity in the world um, Obviously, a, being a teenager and growing up is something that we all experience. And I think similarly, we all ex have the experience of meeting our parents as adults for the first time or as real people. And um, when we get to do that, some of us do it at five years old and some like Billy at 16 and some don't do it until their parents are really old, you know, and dying a lot of the time. Um, and I think that Billy gets a chance to do that in this film. And so that is an experience that we all understand on some level. And as a parent, I think, similarly, we all want to work out how to show our full selves to our child or when to show our full selves and when we're supposed to be just mum and when we are allowed to be a whole, real, flawed individual. What do you kind of hope people will walk away with after seeing 52 Tuesdays, if anything, in particular? I always hope that someone will go home and have a conversation about it. Whether they liked the film or didn't like the film, that doesn't bother me. But I hope that it starts a discussion. Or I hope that it makes either a parent or a child think differently about how that relationship, how their relationship is like that or how that could change. Because I think, you know how we're talking about meeting your parent as a person, I think that there's also a point where the parent has to meet their child as a person. And I think that that would be the most interesting thing for me, and also I guess for teenagers that it doesn't all have to be like the version that you see on screen all the time of what it is to be a teenager and like going to parties and like um, having these sort of like sexual experiences with people that are kind of always in white bed sheets and with pretty music in the background, like that doesn't have to be how it happens and that's fine. <laughs> or it's not a clear-cut way of growing up. There's not like a clear-cut version of like, this is teenagehood and this is how you become an adult. Like, mm. I wish I could see more of those things mm. still. I guess for me, like, I, I want people to be able to feel things when they watch a film like 52 Tuesdays, but also to be able to think about their own life and how they treat the other people in their own life and whether they're turning up properly and making all the choices that they need to make. And... Um, you sort of hope a film like this, you know, connects with you emotionally, but also, yeah, gives you some sort of space to think about that. 